no need to hit it again. We got to get that off of there. Get that cutter out of there. There's the cutter. And it's got that keeper on yonder. Get that off of there. It's a round washer, thin like the spring. That was rusted quite a lot. Keep this spring right here. You do not want to use a cadmium spring on, on this engine at any work. We'll talk about them cadmium springs a little bit later. Save that spring. Yeah, let's get that power tool on that right there. Let's get her off of there. There's that special nut, the washer, the spring, and the other washer. Okay, it's that, it's that arm. Actually, it's, uh, it's not too bad. We'll be able to get that off of there. Loosen this up to where that it comes out of that fitting right there. Once it comes out of that, you can slide it sideways. Meaning that way. Like so. Once it gets around there, you get this off. The other type for the for the fuel pump roller is on the bottom right here. We'll talk about that later. This one is it's really it's a nice shape around through there. Let's get that in that electrolysis tank. The uh, and this being the bolt, the spring, the washer, the there it is. It's rusty. It's a little bit loose, so I'm gonna let that soak. Spray that down, and uh, we will get that off of there. All right, it's the two pieces. It's the two pieces, the adjusting arm that is rusted together. Uh, yeah, these two pieces are rusted fast. Looks like the little prowl is rusted in there. We'll get that out of there. All right, let's get on that other side there now. Let's get that cleaned up a little bit right there. Just a little grease looks like on that one right there. I really don't think it has been too long in the past that this engine was ran, running. I think it's ran recently. That's about enough. Let's just see if that is enough, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we got that broke flywheel off in there. Now, we want to protect this 
collar here at all at all uh, at all cost. So let's set that aside for the time being. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. If they're original, it's a 9 16 square head bolt up in that crankcase. Get your wrench and get up in there on it. I mean, you'd be thinking you'd be lucky and they'd come off of there and not turn on the backside, but no. You're going to have to get your hand up in yonder. be done. That one had two washers on it, all right. Come off. I didn't have to stick my hand up in her on that right there. <laughs> it don't take much to make a country boy happy. <laughs> uh, let's look at this right here before we move on. That there bearing cap. Remember them shims in there. Never forget them shims. Save them shims. That one didn't have very many in it. And the bearing and the cap. You can't get them mixed up. Just take my word for it, you just can't get them mixed up. Same way on the other side. Cap, shim, bearing, looks good. Shims, shims, and more shims. The actually, the way that works is that shim comes over past the lip of that bearing. That shim comes over there and keeps that bearing from turning. That's the reason it don't rotate in there. Okay, let's move to the other side and get them bolts out of there. <laughs> 